Hi, I'm Kristen. And I'm Osni, and we're here to tell you about the Deco UV. Imagine you're going to the hospital for a minor procedure. Suddenly, your minor procedure turns into a harrowing battle with MRSA, methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, a germ often acquired in hospitals that can't be killed by traditional first-line antibiotics. MRSA can live harmlessly on the skin or in the body, but it can be deadly when it progresses to an infection. According to the University of Chicago's MRSA Research Center, approximately 94,000 people contract MRSA invasive infections every year, and 19,000 of those people don't survive the fight. And the physical impact of MRSA infection is staggering. In the current U.S. healthcare market, MRSA infections cost hospitals a collective $10 billion annually. These costs are not reimbursed by Medicare, and with the changing reimbursement structures, the hospitals with higher rates of hospital-acquired infections, such as MRSA, will be penalized with lower overall payments. Hospitals currently use a multi-pronged approach to limit MRSA infection rates in patients. A central of those is decolonization, which has been proven to reduce the likelihood of contracting an opportunistic infection in vulnerable patient populations. The current gold standard of decolonization includes a nasal swab, three-day MRSA surveillance culture, and if necessary, five days of topical antibiotics applied to the inside of the nose, the typical site of MRSA colonization. Further antibiotic resistance is a risk inherent in this process. And this brings us to our pain point, that current decolonization procedures are time-consuming, resource-intensive, and exacerbate the antibiotic resistance. However, recent peer-reviewed in vitro studies have demonstrated safety and efficacy of select wavelengths in killing MRSA without harming human cells. And this is where our device, the Deco UV, will utilize these advancements to create a handheld portable decolonization device. And by using UV light to kill MRSA, our device would streamline the decolonization process without increasing antibiotic resistance. And we see our device as having a place in both outcome improvement and antibiotic stewardship programs. We have designed our device to be easily used by healthcare providers in both inpatient and outpatient facilities. Our device would be a one-time purchase for a hospital that would reduce the overall cost of swabbing, testing, and decolonizing patients. There are currently no devices on the market that will implement UVC technology for MRSA decolonization, and our patent process is underway. By 2023, the infection prevention market is projected to grow by 4.5% to $31 billion domestically and 6.2% to $231 billion globally. Further growth of this market is expected given the trend towards infection-correlated reimbursements as well as the increasing problem of antibiotic resistance. Our primary market consists of the more than 55,000 hospitals and 5,000 surgical centers registered in the United States. We will particularly focus on the 25% of hospitals being penalized by Medicare for their hospital-acquired infection rates. Given the cost of clinical trials, after developing a high-fidelity prototype, we plan to sell our product to a medical device company such as Welch Allen or Johnson & Johnson. In summary, the value proposition of our product lies in streamlining the decolonization process by cutting the time of treatment from days to minutes with the flip of a switch. And we'll do this without contributing to the problem of antibiotic resistance and with the goal of reducing hospital-acquired infections to potentially save thousands of lives and billions of dollars. And with that, we look forward to seeing you on competition night, and thank you.